Alright, so I know that in my last video I said that I didn't want to make a video until I could fully understand and grasp everything and everything that's going on in my life. And I know I don't owe anyone an explanation or any details about what's going on with my life, but I feel like this is very important for me to document how I feel. Not only for you guys, but for myself. Um, and I feel like I do trust you guys. And... I will give respect to everyone involved, but I mean, I do feel comfortable talking about certain things about myself, and I will say little by little, I'm not going to say the full story now, um, because a lot of it does have to do with just things that I've done wrong and things that, you know, I wasn't the best at, and um, yeah, so... A lot of you guys do care, and, you know, it. I never want to take you guys for granted. Um, honestly, what it sounds so freaking cheesy, um, but what has gotten me through the last few days are the messages, the emails, the direct messages over Twitter, the comments on Instagram, the comments on my videos. Everything like that has helped me tremendously. I never realized how much of a support system I really had and I never want to take that for granted because at the end of the day I do consider you guys and my actions and everything just like how I go about doing things I have to think to myself is this the advice I would give to the people who watch my videos is this something I would recommend for them is it something that they will grow from? And, you know, I have to think about my biggest goal in life is to inspire people. And I want to make not only myself proud, my family proud, my friends proud, but all of you guys proud. Because I don't think I would even be here if it weren't for you guys. Um, so I've been doing a lot of self reflecting and learning about myself the last few weeks. And... I'm going to say it quick because the last few times I've tried filming this video, I say it slow and I just end up crying a whole bunch. Um, but about four weeks ago, I lost my best friend and my partner of four years. For those of you who don't know, um, I met my boyfriend Ryan uh, four years ago when I was 17. I'm 21 now. And he was actually a subscriber of mine from YouTube. And... Uh, how we met is really funny and you know we had so much in common he did online schooling I did online schooling uh, we both were just addicted to the internet and tumblr and form spring stuff like that but he would talk to me through like blog tv and like twitter and forum stream uh, forum straight forum spring get it together Carly um and you know we would skype and then I felt comfortable enough to add him on Facebook and I sent him my number out of the blue. I I just felt like there was a connection. And uh, he called me and we talked and we talked for a good six months. And then I happened to be moving to California. He lived in California. And ever since we met, we had been together as a couple. And um, things just, I, I'm not... I have to say that I did lose myself a lot in the relationship because I was so afraid of losing the relationship. And the reason I'm making this video today is to tell you guys who are in a relationship that I do believe in love. I do believe in, you know, relationships. I, I'm not a bitter person because mine didn't work out. I, I still believe that people can be happy together. And, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing to be able to have a connection with someone and to be able to trust someone. But that's the thing. A relationship, it has to have trust. You have to have chemistry. You have to have a connection. But most importantly, you have to have time to yourself. You have to not invest too much of yourself into the relationship because the relationship depends on how happy you are with yourself and how happy your partner is with himself or herself and if you guys are always together you're never going to grow together you're going to grow apart and that's one of my biggest regrets is I feel like I spent and it's not that I even feel like I spent I know I spent too much time with him and focusing on not losing the relationship that it ended up falling apart um 
and you know if two people aren't happy together or even if one person's not happy in the relationship it's not a fair relationship and so it was very unexpected for me it's not what I necessarily wanted um but I couldn't be selfish and I had to let him let me go even though it hurt made me feel like a failure it made me feel like I wasn't good enough but I, I couldn't do that to him because his happiness means so much to me that as just a human being, it, it, like it, it means so much to me that I could never ask him to stay by my side just so I could be happy. His just well-being itself, like if he was feeling depressed or uh, sad or unhappy or uncomfortable and it was because of me, I shouldn't stay with him so you know I had to take a step back and I didn't want it to happen I really didn't it was very devastating to lose the one thing that I have out here and you know I I felt like I didn't amount to anything without him and I felt like I owed him so much because he's done so much for me and the people I know, the jobs I've had, just all the help I've been given was because of him. And he's supported me so much. I felt like I was never going to find anyone ever again to even come close to that. And um, it hurt, but I couldn't let it destroy me. I had to surround myself with really positive people. I had to keep myself busy and with doing that I learned a lot about myself and I am becoming even better and stronger than the person I ever was that he originally fell in love with. And it's not to say that I'm doing it to try and get him back, it's to get myself back because I want myself back. I couldn't make videos on YouTube for a long time because I just wasn't myself. And now I'm finally learning who I am again and seeing that I am a really fucking cool person, actually. And I am talented and I do have a lot to offer this world. And I will do go, I will go do great things and I will make so many people proud. I just, I, I feel it in me that that is my purpose to help others. And so that's why I'm sharing my story with you guys right now. Um... So it's been tough, and, you know, I, I I do feel like I am very happy to know that we ended things on a very good note, a very promising note that we will always be involved in each other's lives in some way. We will be friends. It's going to take time because it hurts. And there isn't, he said that there's not hope for us long term but you know if two people are meant to be together it will happen but I can't expect it so I have to focus on myself and I want to learn a lot about myself and I want him to be happy and learn about himself too so in a relationship it is very important to have trust and communication and you need to be on the same page on many things you just it needs to all be there it it just does so I don't know how to conclude this video but I wanted to at least show you guys where I stand on things right now and then we'll see how I am the next time I make a video but I'm okay I'm figuring things out. Any help, any advice, any stories that you have, any words of encouragement, even just one word, it helps me. I read everything. Um, I never realized how much of a support system I had until recently, and I'm so thankful in a way that this happened because I'm really recognizing a lot of things lately, and I, I can't wait to see who and where I am uh, a month from now, half a year from now, and five years from now, you just you just don't know. You, it's crazy. Life is crazy, um, but I will be okay. I'm a strong person. I really am, 
If there's anything I know about myself is that I am strong and I've gone through hard shit before in the past. And I know I'm going to go through even more difficult things in my future because things only get more difficult. So this is something that is necessary for me to do. And um, we'll see what happens. But I'm fine. I'm fine.